Hello, I am going to talk about externalities. Uh, there are four types that we covered. We have the producer positive, producer negative, consumer positive, and consumer negative. And I just want to provide a few examples so that you can understand the topic a little better. Consumer negative. Oh, what up, Sandy? Hey. How's it going? Good, how about you? This is so relaxing. Mm. I can't get enough of this. The more of this I have, the happier a person I am. Oh, what do you think? No, can you keep it away from me, please? You don't know what you're missing. This crush is so good. Consumer positive. Oh, this stuff is so good. 25 grams of protein, cookies and cream flavor. Man, I can burn fat and not store it and get ripped. Yeah. Justin, you're looking really good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. That stuff must be working. Mm. I like it. Oh. Producer positive. Mmm. I absolutely love the smell of coffee. JP's is one of my favorite places in Holland just because it just smells so good whenever I walk by. I just want to buy something. It's just good. I hope it never disappears from this place because I'll never stop enjoying that smell. Producer negative. So there it is. The Columbia Avenue One Stop. This type of establishment sells alcohol. Now, in itself, alcohol is not a terrible thing. But what goes on at a place like this is selling alcohol that causes drunk driving, accidents, death, overconsumption, just bad in general. The longer that a place like this is in business, the more harm comes to society, and it disgusts me. I think that this needs to be shut down immediately. I'm boycotting this. Let's get out of here. As you can see, there are externalities for both producers and consumers that can have positive or negative effects on society. And it, as always, it's very important to consider these when making business or personal consumption choices. Um, that's about it. Uh, roll credits.